Hey guys, if you have an older iPad and you're trying to download something like Netflix, let's say, and you guys are getting this message right here, unable to purchase, don't worry about it. It's really easy to fix this. So as you guys can see, we have this arrow. That means this app has been downloaded before. So technically, we can download it again. So in this case, what we have to do is going to purchase. That's down here below. You guys will see purchase. Sorry about the shaky video, but I'm just doing this on my way somewhere, so no tripod or anything. So right here, we have we have to look for Netflix that we purchased before. If you haven't downloaded Netflix before, just get a friend's iPad or something that has a higher iOS, and from their iPad, using your own Apple ID, you guys can download Netflix. And that way, it's gonna come up under your purchased apps. So right here, it's purchased. We're just gonna tap right here. And right now, we should see this. Do you want to download the last compatible version? And we're gonna hit yes, download it. So this works almost with every single app out there that is big, such as Facebook, Netflix, YouTube. Those big ones that have been out from way before, they will work. Apps that are brand new, that just came out when iOS 10 was up or even with iOS 11 will not work because they never made them for older iOSs. However, Netflix is really old, so that will work for sure. So right now you guys can see that it fully downloaded. We're just gonna wait until it says open and then we can just tap and open Netflix. So right there, it says open. We can open it up and just run Netflix. So that's just one of the apps. This will work with any social media or almost any app out there. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.